Some of my, my recent sculptures, uh, and when I say recent, I mean over the last 10 years, have been based on archaeological finds. I'm, I'm an, I really am very enthusiastic about archaeology in a very non-academic way, and I follow uh, what is what is being dug up, what's being talked about in current archaeology. Uh, one of one of the most amazing pieces that have been, have been discovered came from a place called Macemore. I think it's Corwin in Wales, and it was a, a, a mace head, different spelling than mace more, M-A-C-E as opposed to M-A-E-S-M-O-R. Uh, and the mace head, of course, is a, a weapon, so it's imbued with power. And I think that's, I think it would be fair to say that I try to imbue a sense of power in, into everything that I make, whether it's, um, whether it's a physical power or a religious power or a political power or a sexual power. I think there's elements of all of these things in the pieces that I make, I think. This one, based on this uh, mace head dug up at Maze Moor, is per particular in the decoration that the mace head has. Uh, and I've borrowed liberally from that original find. I've changed the, changed the shapes uh, but I find this mathematical uh, arrangement very inspiring and I find it not least inspiring because it was done whatever 2,000 years ago, whatever the exact dates are. We think back uh, about people, as I said in, in an, earlier, an earlier film for Bozar, that we think back to people being unsophisticated, but these people who were making these things were far from unsophisticated. Uh, you know, when they when whoever was making the original original mace head made that pattern, they understood a level of mathematics that is admirable. And the person who was making the stone itself had an understanding of stone, which I can only salute. That's where it comes from. Those are some of the backgrounds. My piece is, is made in, in Carrara marble. Uh, you can see what kind of size it is. Uh, I find it deeply satisfying.